Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, August 8th. A haircut with Desiree today, so I'm gonna show you guys how she cuts my hair. I'm talking though because my roommate is sleeping, so I don't like her. I lost my driver's license when I was upstate with my parents and up there because I don't think that I've told you guys. Most of you follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, I don't think I've told you guys, but I am moving to LA. I am packed up already and I'm out of this apartment. I'm only staying here because I was watching Maria's dog. She comes back the 10th, so I leave to LA the 11th. I'm excited to see how that's gonna go. So expensive, it's painful, but I kind of want to... Okay. I want to show you guys so everyone can kind of see. Like, I know a lot of people want to move to LA, so I'm going to show you guys like price points and everything. But land at nine. I'm going to stay with my friend because I have to go pick up my um, rental car the following morning. And I'm going to be staying with my sister for the rest of the week, but she lives an hour outside of LA. My birthday is also coming up. I don't think I'm going to do anything. I think I'll just be in LA looking for apartments, but your girl's going to be 22, which is so scary. I just kind of wanted to put this out here too in case anybody wants to join. Hopefully I can get this out in enough time for you guys to join um, this thing. Most people for some reason have no idea that I have a brand. I do own a brand. That's how I keep my lights on. It's my number one um, source of income. I do have a clothing brand. It's called K White. It's basically an athletic wear brand, but I decided that I wanted to kind of open up it's like an affiliate program slash influencer program. Yeah, like affiliate influencer UGC. Kind of got the idea because I was watching this TikTok and this lady was talking about how people are just so sick of influencers, which I've talked about this before in a previous vlog. Personally for me as an influencer, I get constant emails about PR. When you have an agent, they have your, your, um, your address on file so they don't even need to contact you and they can just send you stuff and so a lot of influencers get so much shit that they don't even open i've already been like listen i don't want a bunch of pr stuff because i think it's just so extremely wasteful and honestly there does come a point when you do stuff for so long that you become very desensitized to it which is so unfortunate because it's like i remember when i first started this all i wanted was free clothes and like free stuff and it seemed so amazing to me but once you get it so much it's it's like with anything in life once you have a punch to of it it stops impacting you the same way and honestly i don't appreciate it as much as i did in the beginning and i know i'm sure that's like that for a lot of influencers i see girls with literal rooms full of packages they haven't even opened yet because they have so much of it do not want to be gifting items to influencers who really don't care about my brand or my items or have no affiliation to me i would rather take that and give that back to my customers that purchase for me who already love my products and um would enjoy it so much more and these are paying customers and these are not girls that get tens of thousands of of items you know a year that they really don't even need and don't care about so that's why we created well i created <laughs> that's how we created i wasn't about we it's really just me that does this stuff that's why i created the k white creator club so basically all it is is that you have to create two pieces of content a month you get a flat rate fee for it and then you also get an affiliate percentage if you choose to share the content on your social media you don't have to but you're mostly getting paid to create that content um, you will be also placed into a group me chat with me so that i can get feedback from you guys on like how things are fitting as a small business owner and just like me handling everything what the fuck was i saying i got so distracted i'm sorry my agent sent me an email and i was like what the fuck me being the only one doing the brand and everything i only have one body type and maria only has one body type and she's like the only person that i can try products on i really wanted to use this to try to really hone down and and work on creating better products for you guys that will fit better a variety of body types and so that's going to be a great way for me to do that we're only selecting 10 creators a month so this is going to be a revolving thing i think i'm going to keep it to you can be in the creator group three times that's it and it won't be back to back you can only be in it three times just to give everybody a good enough chance because i've had an overwhelming amount of responses it will only be if you have bought from k white that you can be in this creative program so yeah, i'm really excited i've been going through like all the responses this morning i think this is gonna be a really great thing i'm super excited i don't want anyone to feel bad if they don't get selected or anything like i am very specific about my images you guys know how much i care about my brand so it's just like if i don't if i go on your instagram and it doesn't look like you can create what i need you to create i'm not gonna pick you 
It's not because I don't love you. It's just, I can't. <laughs> we do have the new sweat shorts coming out soon. I'm still figuring out names and everything. The girls are gonna get um, some of those before they launch so we can really see how everything fits and stuff works. But my appointment with Desiree is at two. It's 10 of five. I really need the driver's license before I leave to LA though because I have to get a rental car and this is gonna be a mess. Fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. I am about to leave right now to get my hair done. I wanted to show you guys this bodysuit. I just got it from my friend. It's actually a swim, it's like a one piece swimsuit. I just dropped it off, it's so cute, you guys. The quality on this piece is like impeccable. I didn't realize that she gave me a two piece bathing suit. This is like beautiful. It reminds me so much of like the Skims Fendi collab, which I was just talking to her and she was like, yeah, that's what I based it off of. Y'all know usually I'm not a color person, but I just thought this was so gorgeous. I will leave her information um, if you guys want to shop in my description box down below so you guys can check it out. She's a super sweet girl. The packaging on this product is like so fire. Look how cute. She gave me a little bag too. I hope I'm not Jumping all the way in too deep I hope you're not missing these signs Cause I wanna keep you close to me I finished my haircut like literally three hours ago but because I had to turn in my key for like when I moved out and now I'm in Maria's room I don't have a key to get back into my apartment and my other roommate is not there so I'm really just sitting here waiting for her to get back my hair looks fucking fantastic Desiree always does such an amazing job I'm gonna be so sad that like I won't be able to see her all the time we did my hair color six months ago and honestly it's doing fine so I'm just gonna let it go a little while more and then I'll come back and get it done I would have liked to have gotten it retouched once more before I left but she's really booked and busy so I was like not gonna be like hey girl can you retouch my hair like last minute because I didn't think to get it done before I was leaving I was not planning to move this early but anyway so yeah it's so funny <laughs> if you guys follow me on TikTok I guess I really push people's buttons because I was talking about like how it's so strange that people don't like to post their relationships anymore and I was literally saying like I respect people that just want to keep things private because not everyone wants to share their life online like y'all know I, I share everything but that's really not for everyone and I totally understand why it's not because people being your fucking business and I get it but for the people that are like oh I don't want to post it because I don't want to look stupid if it ends I think that's just dumb because it's like I've talked to you guys about this before where I'm like that's what happens in real life like it doesn't make any sense to I personally don't like to showcase my social media like everything is perfect I don't know if any of you guys have met me in person I know I've met a few people in person but I don't think there's anyone that's ever gonna meet me in person and be like oh my god that is like how her life seems on the internet is not at all how it is in reality bitch y'all fucking know what's up like I just what you see is what you get I was just saying like I think that's really bad that people are afraid of failures or you know don't want to showcase things that are like they only want to showcase successful things y'all get what i'm saying girl they is dragging me on here when i tell you fucking dragging me people are pissing me off because they're like oh what, why are you so fucking nosy why do you know what know about people's relationships like bro i don't give a shit who you date i don't care if all your relationships are three days long i really don't give a fuck that was really what the whole thing was it's like who gives a fuck nobody cares do whatever the fuck you want and people just whoo we're getting our panties in a twist but you know what i really want to go home i haven't eaten a damn thing i had coffee today and i'm starving i also did not go to the dmv i'm gonna have to get up at the ass crack of dawn tomorrow and go that's my update currently getting my scalp dragged on tiktok but at least my hair looks good <laughs> the next day i am doing my analysis or whatever for these new short sets that are dropping soon you guys have seen me literally in the 24 7 i cannot stop wearing them i ask you guys your opinion i've talked to you guys before about how the business is taking a whole different turn now everything is super super custom i do everything down to the fucking drawstrings on these shorts which this is not at all the drawstrings the new ones are coming with like super sleek like everything i do is designed down to the tee i have made this short set set sample four times it has taken me over a year to make them i'm i'm honestly so worried because these are probably going to be one of our most expensive items we've ever dropped fast fashion has really taken over people's idea of 
what things should cost. I was a fast fashion baddie. You could not tell me otherwise, bitch. I'm not paying more than like $10 for a shirt. So I totally get people. I never shame anybody when they're like, oh my God, I'm not paying that or I, I don't mind buying from Shein, blah, blah, blah. I get you. The thing is, it's just like now that I have a business, I there is no way in my right mind that I could consciously support fast fashion because there is no fucking way that those people are getting paid more than three cents a day. The prices that these companies are selling things at is literally appalling. Like, I'm just gonna give you guys the lowdown. It cost me $37 wholesale to make them. That is like $10 more than you would usually buy it on a website for. Just for example for me. So you guys can understand because I'm very worried about launching these at the price that they're gonna have to be at and people being like, what the fuck? I launched the sweatpants the sweatpants were $58 for the sweats and $45 for the tops. And people were in an uproar about that. Why is it so expensive, blah, blah, blah. I priced those sweatpants way lower than I should have. And I actually never even made profit off of them because I priced them so low. So I can't do that again. I didn't put anywhere near as much time, thought, or care into those sweats as I have into these sets. I have designed them to fit your body so well they make your waist look minuscule they make your hips look nice and wide and curvy they are made of the highest quality cotton that i could possibly find i have designed the waistband for it to fit well for the pockets to not show through the products for the 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 top to be flattering for big boobs small boobs for it to stay in place for you to stretch your arms up and for it not to move out of the way for the adjuster to literally we were having an issue with the adjuster not being able to move it through. I hate having adjusting products where you can't like move the strap through because it gets stuck. I had to make sure that the product lasted well, that the dye did not run out of it, that the product didn't pill, like the, um, the material didn't pill. I had to switch these drawstrings to like a specific type of um, coating and things for them to custom dye it. I hate this like cheapy looking drawstring so we put a more expensive one in. For more basic items people aren't willing to pay for that and I totally understand because I, I get people. I get it. I'm so stressed you guys. <laughs> I can't even get to my point. I'm so stressed. When you're buying cheap stuff like that you one are not buying good high quality products that you can last for a long time and two you're just buying into a really huge brand that doesn't give a shit about you i have to pay my dad's the one that packs my stuff like he works for me like i have to pay him a decent wage for him to live like just it cost me like 400 dollars a month just to run my website it is 13 dollars per package every time you guys buy something it costs me not even just for the product for me to pay my dad, for me to have all the packaging, for me to run the website, for me to pay my other employees. Every time something is bought on the website, it has a base flat cost rate to me of $13.81. But as a smaller brand, it's unfortunate, but we have to charge more because we have to cover all this shit. The lowest that I could possibly price the set for and still make enough money to continue forward and do things so that maybe eventually I can start building enough of a... Uh, a customer base to lower the cost so I can order more stuff. The cheapest I could do it for was $120. I don't want people thinking that I'm ripping them off because like I don't want anyone thinking like oh my god she's charging $120 just for like a, a short set like what the fuck I could go on Amazon and get this for so cheap. So much has gone in behind the scenes for me to create this. This is probably my favorite most favorite item I've ever put out. I really would pay $120 for this set. This is why I need to not read comments sometimes on TikTok and stuff. But like there was this girl that was was like complaining that my waist trainers were too expensive. And I was trying to tell her like my waist trainers are vastly underpriced for the quality that you receive. I am way undercharging compared to my competitors like Davis Active who actually also saw something similar to mine. She charges $90 for her waist trainer. Mine is 68. Really, if I wanted to make like a good profit margin so I could fucking live a nice life like the rest of these influencers, which is what I should be doing, but I'm acting like a guilty little bitch because I feel so bad. I should be charging at least $85. I should be charging at her price range. I should be charging $90 for that waist trainer because it's well fucking worth it. <laughs> mine that I've been wearing, I just finished it at a two extra small and I've been it for the last year and nothing is wrong with it on top of it we've now transferred everything over to eco-friendly packaging which just one of like literally just the product packaging bag just one of them one of them cost me two dollars and 85 cents you think like on a large large scale of production like two dollars and 85 cents for a bag 
is a lot. You guys just take it and throw it in the trash. Because I would rather reduce my impact as a company on the earth, it cost me more money and unfortunately I have to displace that. And I know this was a rant that probably no one gave a shit about, but anyways, when these, when these shorts launch, there are gonna be payment options for it. Um, I hope that you guys can understand like, why I'm charging so much for it. Why am I literally tearing up? Why am I crying? Oh my god, I'm so upset. I care so much about people and I totally want to give you guys the best that I can possibly give you at a price point that's affordable for everyone. And I never want people to think that I'm being greedy or I'm trying to live like this crazy fabulous life off of you all. Like if life wasn't a thing, I didn't have to pay bills, I would love to do this and I would love to just give it to everybody for free. This is literally my passion. Like I just... It makes me so happy. I hope that you guys can understand and that no one gets mad at me because I genuinely priced them the lowest that I possibly could in order for us to have enough money to do our next collection and for me to make sure that everyone gets paid. Everyone that works for me, I pay everybody. There is there is no free work that is done for KY. I have had a few handful of influencers that have shot content for me for free. I will say that. But that was with me being so fucking uncomfortable about it and I don't want to do it again. From now on out, actually, I'm not, I don't want nobody to do shit for free. I value everyone's time. I've never had a photographer shoot for me for free. Even when Victor, my ex-boyfriend, was shooting everything for me, I also paid that man. And not in coochie. He was paid monetary dollars, okay? Best friend since like third grade. I always paid that girl. No matter what, no matter what she modeled for me, she got paid. That, so that's the explanation for the $120 price tag on these shorts when you guys see them. I've been working hard. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because this is 15 minutes of footage. Yes, I, I did not quit yet, if you realized. Okay, bye. <laughs>